I'm Mortgage Mark. Let's talk about prepaids. What are prepaids? They're part of closing costs or air quotes, closing costs. I don't consider them to be closing costs. I consider them to be costs of owning a home. So here's why. Um, if you want, there is a link. There's a couple of different links down below. Um, we have videos on estimated closing costs and it breaks it down. And so I'll give you the uh, little precursor. It's like three things, down payment, closing costs, prepaids. So that's how I break them up. Because at the end of the day, even if you paid cash for a home, these prepaids that we're about to talk about, you're still going to owe that money, right? Because even if you don't get a mortgage, you still have property taxes, homeowners insurance, HOA dues. And that's basically the majority of what prepaids mean. You're prepaying some fees when you move into the home. So let's talk about them. So again, closing costs, go check out that page. Um, you know, it has everything from, you know, you can then find down payment options, things like that. We're focused on the prepaids here, what those are, what they mean. So prepaids, as I mentioned, is basically what's going to be due when buying a home in the state of Texas. Now, by the way, prepaids are required for all the states. However, I'm just saying the state of Texas, because that's where we do most of our business, that's what this is going to be specific to. So if, if you're in another state, understand this is pretty close, but it may not be perfect, but just go with me here. So first and foremost, um, what I mentioned, so I'm going to list these things down below. The first thing we're going to talk about is if you pay cash, this is the one thing technically that you wouldn't you wouldn't have, and that's per diem interest. So what does that mean? So when you get a mortgage, you're borrowing this much money at this interest rate, you know, and your monthly payment is going to be X dollars with this much interest per diem, just means per day, to figure out how much interest is going to be owed each day. So you'll see that if you close on, let's say there's 30 days in the month and you close on day 10, they will collect then 20 days of interest at closing to finish out getting all the interest for that month. Because when you make a mortgage payment, you actually skip the next month's mortgage payment. So um, without going into details, just know that, and we can talk about that later and we'll make another video if you really care about prepaids, we'll do a per diem interest thing. Just realize you're gonna have anywhere from one day to 31 days of prepaid, per, pardon me, per diem interest that goes under the prepaids. So one day to 31 days of interest, depending on when you close the time of the month that you close. Next, uh, the mortgage industry requires that your first year of homeowner's insurance be paid upfront at closing. So the reason why is if you close, you sign the ink's done and you're driving the house and that day lightning struck the house and it burns down to the ground, they wanna make sure you're taken care of. So one day of insurance, or probably one year of insurance gets paid upfront at closing. And you may say, well, gosh, dog it, I wanna pay mine and do it monthly cool after the first year. Unfortunately, the way the mortgage world works, we're going to make you just do it out of the gate, one year up front. That's true for 99% of loans out there. I'm sure there's some exceptions here and there in the world. I never want to say an absolute, but it is that's the way it's going to operate the very vast majority of the time. The next one, this is optional, an escrow account. Some programs, some loan programs mandate an escrow account, no matter what. Conventional financing says that if you put down 20% or more, you're allowed to potentially waive the escrow account, not have one. So what is an escrow account? So there is a link down below, talks more about escrow accounts, how they're calculated. You guys can check those out, but essentially escrow accounts, a little buffer. If you if one is needed, round numbers, they're gonna collect about an extra three months of taxes, an extra three months of insurance. And that's just to make a buffer so that if and when taxes go up over time, if and when insurance goes up over time, there's enough money in this, let's call it a piggy bank, it's your money. So there's enough money that if your insurance goes up next year, they got enough to cover that difference and they're not falling short of paying that bill. And if you were to sell the home and not have that mortgage, they give you whatever's in that piggy bank back. So it is your money, but they're holding that escrow account for you. So if one's needed, it is there. There's another, there's more stuff on here about escrow accounts that goes deeper. And then lastly, like HOA per diem dues, if it's $600 a year, let's use that for easy math, that's 50 bucks a month and you were to close the very last day of June. So that's exactly halfway through the year. And the sellers have already prepaid the whole year. You may owe six months of HOAs at closing to reimburse the seller for it. So essentially prepaids, look, if you buy a $200,000 home versus a million dollar home, your prepaids are gonna be vastly different because the property taxes are gonna be different. The insurance is gonna be different. Uh, if there is an HOA, it's gonna be different. So that's what prepaids are. Um, they can vary. Again, it's hard to put a dollar, which I won't because it's hard to do. 
it's going to vary, but understand that's not part of the quote unquote, in my mind, closing cost. It is money due at closing when you buy a home, no question. Um, but that is in fact, kind of the differentiator for me as far as what it is. So if you guys have questions, wants to look at something, let us know, but just understand prepaids, no matter who, what lender you use, they're going to be the same regardless of lender. Why is that? You pick the insurance, property taxes are the property taxes. Um, you know, an escrow accounts determine whether or not you need one based on the loan program. And that's regulated by the, the, by the, the federal government. And then your HOA dues, they're the HOA dues. So lenders have zero impact on these numbers. So if you're comparing two lenders, that's why it's so important to know the closing cost versus prepaids. You may say, man, this lender is just totally hosing me. The closing, you know, all my total due at closing is going to be eight grand plus my down payment, where the next guy could be six grand. You're like, oh, that six grand is so much better. Maybe not. Maybe the eight grand guy is just more accurate on the prepaids, right? Maybe all the other actual fees are the same. So if you guys have questions of what to compare and what to look at, obviously mortgagemark.com, check out more details, but send it to us. We'll take a look. We'd love to earn the business if we don't. I, this may come as a surprise. We don't do every loan in America. I know, I know you're shocked, but we would love to at least know everybody in America to help make sure they're in the right program, the right closing costs. Even if we don't do the loan, let us help and maybe we can get the next one for you. So we appreciate you guys. Reach out if you have any questions. As always, and I mean it, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And when you think mortgage, think Mark.